Okay, wasn't this episode just the cutest thing ever, especially with Sayuri and Komano? Just, oh man, my heart! Oh, that was just so adorable. I absolutely loved them. Loved this entire episode. It was hilarious and charming and just the best way to start off your day. Except this comes on at the stroke of noon. For me, at least. Sup, everyone! I'm your female otaku, and I'm here to review episode 9 of Sakura Quest. And with this episode, Shiori came up with the bright idea to start a Soul Men Expo, where a bunch of people can create various of dishes using Soul Men. It could be a part of the Summer Festival, and there will be a winner. And in the meantime, we had Yoshi teaming up with Doku to create this invention for the Soman Expo and oh my gosh this scene this scene was so weird so <laughs> we had Yoshi suddenly come into Doku's lair I guess and and, and Doku he's just like ah so you came and Yoshi's all like yes and then, she, and then, and then oh, this freaked me out so much she she unzips her pants and I was just like what is I freaked out so much guys. Oh my goodness. And then, and then she takes off her pants and then she takes off her shirt and then she's in a swimsuit and then freaking Doku puts on his gear and I'm like, what the heck? That freaked me out. I was kind of scared too, to be honest. I was like, is it that kind of anime? I didn't think it was that kind of anime. But it was all for a good cause in the end or really a stupid cause because they developed one of those motion coasters, you know, uh, I don't know the proper name of it. I think it's called like a 4D coaster. You see them a lot in like malls or arcades and stuff, at least, you know, where I live, we see those types of, you know, rides, rides over in arcades and even regular shopping malls. But yeah, so they call it the 5DX coaster where you can experience uh, riding down one of those, uh, bamboo, like, uh, what do you call them? Like, they, they use a lot in Japan. There's this stream, and it's made of bamboo, and there's water and stuff, and you have to, like, catch the cold noodles. It's like a, a summertime festivity that a lot of people like to do. And so they incorporated that into the motion coaster. That was so ridiculous, man. Like, water kept on splashing in, in Yoshi's face. And I was like, do you really think this is fun? But then, what do you know? The kids love it. The kids went crazy, man. They were just like, I wanna do this. It looks like the best game ever. Poor kids, man. Oh my gosh, they live such a sheltered and country lifestyle that this this ridiculous machine seems fun to them, oh my gosh. With Sayuri and Komano, they decided to talk to each other about how neither of them showed up at the promised date, and they both said that they were there at the exact same time and waiting for hours all the way until night. But then later on, Shiori figured it out that because she and Sayori are both airheads, turns out that they were looking at the wrong calendar. So Sayori ended up showing up at the wrong date. Oh man, how do you do that? There's no way. I rely on my calendar so much, there's no way I could have made that mistake. Oh wow. All fine and well because Komano, he's just a like, well, why don't we start over? Why don't you meet me over at the restaurant and I'll make you some French toast. I'm just... <laughs> that was so cute, man! Because we actually find out that Komano decided to go to France just to make better French toast for Sayuri. But then we later on find out that French toast isn't made... well, didn't originate from France. Which I thought was obvious, to be honest. A lot of those stuff, you know, like French fries and French toast and, you know, other things like that, that's that's originated in America. Heck, I believe even fortune cookies originated in America. But anyway, that was this episode. Let me know your thoughts on it. Did you find it as funny and charming as I did? And are you looking forward to whatever little mini arc comes next? Perhaps we're now going to focus on Riri. That would be pretty nice. Riri is my best girl. So yeah, let's see what else Sakura Quest has to offer. I'm your female Otaku. Sayonara.